I wasn't very nice. If I make a mistake, my mother, she made me apologize. In our custom, when you apologize to your mother, you have to bring a cup of tea and say, I'm sorry. But I purposely dropped that hot cup of tea in my mother's lap. <laughs> and I wasn't a good student. I always lie to get out of school because a lot of boyfriends after me. <laughs> that time I was still young, I was not bad looking then. <laughs> so what else? Hurry, hurry. I'm going to go home. How'd you meet Grandpa? I was a training nurse in a hospital. He was there for hemorrhoids operation. So when your grandpa see me, your grandpa keep on asking me to get married. And I said, I don't like you. You, you have bald head. <laughs> I didn't like him because he's ugly. But one thing about your grandpa, he's very smart. That's it. No more questions. <laughs> Just a couple more questions. Short one. Short ones. Short one. Tell me about working at Bloomingdale's. What did you do? You know what I do. I'm not going to tell you. No, you, you have to. <laughs> you have to talk about it. I am a detective. <laughs> <laughs> I got a very famous designer. I better not mention her name. <laughs> she stole a dress, three thousand some dollar. So I walk out the store. I said, "Would you like to pay me that dress?" <laughs> she said. Do you know who I am? I said, yeah, you are a thief. <laughs> so, so, that's my life. <laughs> Do you have any regrets? No, what should I regret? No, I think I'm old enough to do whatever I would like. And that's it. <laughs> You know, there's a line between independent and stubborn, and my mom crossed that a lot. She liked to complain about things, but she didn't really mind. Like She took care of Grandpa, and she did a lot of that on her own. You knew because she complained about it, but she would do it, even though she complained. Yeah. I don't know how willing she would have been to do StoryCorps if she actually didn't know she had so little time left. It was kind of like one of her last gifts to us. My mother was cremated, and the original plan was to put her in the same cremoral <laughs> Next as my to father. Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> but she said, you know, keep me at your place for a while. So uh, right now I have the ashes at home. And uh, I talk to my mom every now and then. I'll tell her good night or I miss you or something like that. So I'm kind of happy she's with me. <laughs>